Be off, Reeker. Our Haddock refuses to see you. Now go, before I gut you. The Ard needs to hear what I have to say, my friend. It is imperative that we speak. Reach Folk. I don't believe I've ever dealt with a more distrustful lot. I'm here on urgent business, but the despot of Markarth refuses to see me. While the Grey Host gathers, he hides behind his sentries and his walls, thinking to escape their fury. Ard Kadok. He rules the Reach from Understone Keep in Markarth. I've come to offer my help against the Grey Host, but he has turned me away time and time again. Meanwhile, even here, in the shadow of the city, the Grey Host plots and conspires. It's an alliance of vampires, witches, and werewolves bent on slaughter and destruction. To protect the Reach, I need to learn why the Grey Host has come here, and I need to secure the cooperation of Ard Kadok. Would you be willing to help me? With your help, we may save the Reach yet. While I continue to exert diplomatic pressure, I need you to find information the Ard will consider valuable. Something concerning the rebels that plague his rule, perhaps. Start by talking to the sentry. Reach folk deal in bargains. They respect... With your help... Reach folk deal in bargains. They respect strength and skill, and they believe in rewarding favors. If we can bring something important to the Ard while demonstrating these qualities, I think he'll agree to hear us out. If we're to stop the Grey Host and help the Reach, we don't have a choice. At the very least, we need his resources and support. In my time here, I have heard about these rebels, but I'm not sure the extent of their rebellion. See what you can learn. Remember. Didn't you hear? You and that fancy bastard aren't welcome here. Get, or I'll make a scarf out of your guts. We know all about the blood drinkers and the beast folk. We were dealing with them just fine before Ard Kadok called us back to Markarth. The witch rebels are a bigger threat, along with outsiders who try to get into our business. Some wilder witch has been stirring up the clans to the east of Markarth, making trouble for Ard Kadok. <laughs> but we'll have her head on a pike soon enough. Look, if you want to see the Ard, then bring news he doesn't know. Something about the rebels. Invaders! Spirits! Take the lot of them! I, like a pack of wild dogs they were, kept shouting, Arana, Arana, as they bore down on me. I took an arrow in the leg before they listened to me, before they decided I wasn't an invader. I think Arana spoke to me. I think she was their leader. No, like ghosts these rebels are. I plan to return to Markarth and petition the Ard to let me take a war party out to find them. They must be hiding in the eastern foothills. I don't care if they are fighting the Grey Host. They're mine.
you like. I'm done waiting for Ad Kadik to muster the clans. Are you now? And what do you plan to do about it? Join those rebels? You wouldn't have the first clue about how to find them. That's where you're wrong. Connell says they're gathering in the eastern foothills. Well then, your head can wind up on a pike with the rest of them, you damn fool. Away. I know is she. I need to. Yeah, my friend, is your hunt successful? You couldn't have timed your arrival any better. Ard Kadak holds court as we speak. We'll never have a better chance to gain an audience with him. Did your investigation uncover anything we can use? What did you learn? Irana? I have heard that name during my time here. Did you happen to learn what these rebels are rebelling against? Flee this city? 
with a grey host prowling the countryside. Well, that's three valuable pieces of information. I want you to represent me before Art Kadok. Explain what you learned and convince him to finally agree to meet with me. Speak with the Art Sentry. You'll need to convince her to gain an audience with Kadok. I'm lucky to have made it this far. And I shall wait around here and continue to discreetly learn what I can. You again? You dare to disgrace Understone Keep with your presence, Outsider? <laughs> that takes guts, I'll give you that. What's your business in the Ard's Keep? Do you now? And you want to share that information with Ard Kadok? <laughs> You're certainly full of surprises, Outsider. All right, I'll allow you to approach the throne, if your courage holds out. Fair warning, the Ard's in a foul temper today. Not yet. What fool do I have to behead for letting you in here? You're not of the Reach or the clans. You've either got the sense of a goat or the heart of a saber cat, and I'm eager to find out which. Now, speak plainly. What brings you to the despot of Markarth? A fancy elf, who won't take no for an answer, huh? Yeah, he should have made this offer earlier. News concerning the rebels is a beast worth skinning. Tell me something I don't know, and won't have you fed to my hunting dogs. Spies in my city. <laughs> that would explain some things, but that and a vague location aren't enough to get me to sit down and drink with a high elf. What else have you got? And remember, my patience is wearing thin. I know that name, but she's a honey-tongued fanatic who refused to bury her sword when I forged a peace with the Grey Host. She's slippery, but I didn't realize she led the rebels. Eh, sniffing out her reach, witch. That commands respect. For now. Hi. They agreed to spare the city while they look for some ancient relic. Dwarven, I suspect. They can have it. Verandas wants to meet? Then talk to my advisor, Lady Belaine. Track down Arana for her, and I'll listen to every word he has to say. I couldn't help but overhear Art Caddick's voice, it carries. Now tell me about the leader of the Witch Rebels. The name you provided? Arana, I believe you said? Ah, therein lies the problem. Reach witches are experts at losing themselves in the many caves and copses that decorate the landscape. It's like finding a tooth in a hen's beak. Most witches give deference to the Ard. Arana is a troublemaker. 
Actually, that task falls to you. A favor for a favor, yes? That's how business works here. Locate the rebels. Find Arana and urge her to stop meddling in Markarth's affairs. Do that, and you shall earn a place for you and your count in the Reach. That look on your face. I know curiosity when I see it. Abir, before you run off, tell me about your audience. Impressive. These hills belong to the Reach Folk, Rover. Turn around and go back the way you came, or I'll have your nose for a trophy. Witch Rebels, huh? That's just a label applied by the oppressors, don't you think? Look, we have enough trouble with those Greyhost bastards and Karak soldiers. We don't need a curious outsider blundering around and getting in our way, too. You're a hunter. Truly. Sounds more like Karak and his keep witch getting up to more mischief. You want to befriend the witch rebels? Then prove it. The Grey Host has set up stockpiles nearby. Find out what they're storing, and then we'll talk. The stockpiles were spotted to the east and south. If you can find out what the Grey Host is using them for, then we'll owe you a favor. And true Reach folk never renege on a favor. If I knew for certain, there'd be no need to have you go and take a look, would there?
This one hates criminals, especially vampires. The dwarf. This way, Five Claw. Follow me. vampires. At least that fine red guard and his blonde giant know how to... She wanted to know about reaches.
this one, Tayfam. Come, Harrier. Give me your measure. Tayfern told me about you, Harrier. You wanted to talk? Well, here I am. What will it be? Why does everyone insist on calling us that? Tayfern, remind me to come up with a better name when time permits. As for later, well... I guide this gathering of ragefolk, if that's what you're asking. But what about you? Why are you here? Of course she is. She's a vampire, after all. We tried to slay her twice without much luck. Quick as a spooked hair, that one, and twice as cautious. We'll have her fangs soon enough, though. You can read? What else does that sheet of paper say? The leader? Now that's a worthy bit of news. Bones and birds guide us well, but there's no replacing a cunning hunter. Go to the Barrow, Harrier. Listen in on their meeting. Find out what Belaine and her master are up to, and I'll hear you out. The spirits will see you safely to Valthum, Harrier. After that, I suggest stealth and a strong blade. Overthrow Markarth? What in Namira's name would I do with all that dead stone? No. Saran, your plan proceeds. Kadok hangs on my every word, and soon Reach Folk will fill Markarth like a larder. Excellent. With Markarth prepared, we need only claim the Arthas and Keystone. Hmm. I'll make inquiries. Just remember our arrangement. Like you, I hate to be disappointed. You there, in the shadows. You can't hide from the Ashen Lord. Follow me, if you dare.
you actually followed. There's fire in you. You. The thorn that caused me no small amount of irritation and solitude. You thought yourself so clever, so stealthy spying on me from the shadows. But the darkness answers to me. Why have you come to this forsaken barrel? You stand before Radha al Saran and seek to understand his purpose. Better a torch bug try to comprehend the secrets of alchemy, or a mud crab the intricacies of necromancy. These events began millennia before your birth. They concern you not at all. Who is this we you speak of? Certainly not the Reach folk. No, there is someone else. I see them. Lurking in your thoughts. An ally, almost as ancient as I am. They're desperate to forestall the coming night. Tell me, who is this person? And I don't have to resist the urge to rip out your throat and gorge on your blood. But we are civilized beings, exchanging pleasantries in this humble setting. Perhaps we can come to some sort of arrangement. A tip for a tap, as it were. I propose a simple arrangement. A truth for a truth. Ask a question. I will answer honestly, then I will ask a question in turn. A fair compromise, don't you agree? Excellent. Then by all means, ask your first question. I have no interest in conquering the Reach. I came here to make use of something very old, very powerful. The Reach has the misfortune to be located directly above it. Many of these mortals will die, not because I want them to, but because they must. Not when your purpose is worthy. I do what I do for love. My turn. Your ally. Are they a high elf? Your honesty does you credit. Thank you. Do you have another question? Lady Belaine is an ally of convenience. Her interests and my design are selfish and predictably narrow. Do you seek to supplant her in Kadok's court? I recommend against that, for it will not go well for you. A threat implies only the possibility of punishment. I do not threaten. Belaine has Kadok's ear. If he takes your side, she kills him and chaos descends on Markarth. If he stands by Belaine, you will be executed. Neither outcome benefits you. Others? Who? Reach folk? The Witch Arana? Your mysterious ally? I am unconcerned. Now, for my question. This ally that hides behind your eyes, does he seek to protect the world by going against his own kind? Of course he does. Thank you for your honesty. Now, do you have anything else to ask? That is a complicated question. A being as old as I can claim many origins. This flesh was born on the distant isles of Yokuda. This spirit was forged on the bloody shores of Hammerfell. This purpose... It grew from love. And necessity. That word holds little meaning for me now. But yes, in my youth I dedicated my life to perfection. In art, perfection. In love, perfection. In war, especially in war, perfection. To attain glory in Yokuda, nothing less would do. Is it? Beyond the Sea of Pearls, peerless sword masters were as common as grains of sand. Even the grandest victories felt commonplace. In a land of heroes, 
How can anyone claim to be exceptional? Precisely. After the conquest of Hammerfell, I wandered in search of new challenges. I found only one. Leki. Daughter to Rutger and master of the sword. We fought for three grueling days, without pause for rest or nourishment. But I didn't win. I didn't lose, either. I could not accept a draw, however. The cold reality of my imperfection. That resentment drove me to Moloch Ball. It took the patient wisdom of a friend to break perfection's hold on me. Your ally, are they a vampire? Lies are a coward's refuge. Still, your thoughts reveal the truth. What else do you wish to know? I have no interest in conquering the Reach. Welcome back, my friend. Tell me what you learned. Your arrival is... Your arrival is fortuitous, as I have only just returned myself. Were you able to make contact with the rebels? Did you meet with Arara? I sensed some deception, but her illusion is powerful. How else did she hide her nature from me? As for Arana, do you think we can convince her and her rebels to join our cause? spoke to Rodda. Did he...? No matter. If Rodda al Siron is here, our time grows short. Talk to Kadak. If he deems what you tell him worthy, maybe he'll finally be willing to work with me. It was only a matter of time before Rodda and I crossed paths again. I just didn't think it would be this soon. Rodda al Siron and I... We have a complicated history. There was a time when Rodda and I stood united in purpose, to preserve the lives and welfare of vampires. Then, as now, our kin suffered under Molag Ball's curse. Not exactly. At least, not all at once. When I first met Rodda, he was immensely proud, but utterly consumed by his failures. He tried to find relief in bloodshed and battle, but he was truly lost. I did my best to help him. Yes. His bloodlust gave way to introspection, and introspection led to study. He was already a peerless scholar. All Ansei were, but he became fascinated with vampire texts. Eventually, he found a new purpose. Vampiric salvation. And to accomplish this, he needed to break Molag Ball's hold over us and stop mortals from hunting us. I count... I was. And even now, centuries later, I still carry that shame. The Raven Watch is more than a noble house and a fellowship of good vampires. It's a... Sentry board for sent word. The Grey Host is... I'll hear no more of this! Go! I want to talk to the Outsider. The Outsider returns? But are you a true warrior? Are a parasite like these damned leeches? Did you do as Lady Belaine asked? Did you deal with the Rana? No. 
That's not what you are asked to look into. Still, it confirms my own suspicions about my own Keep Witch. Don't look so surprised. I'm not half as stupid as people think, Rover. Allow! I can count on three fingers the number of people I allow in Understone Keep. <laughs> the rest, they come and go as they please. Let me tell you about the Ember Dance. It's a ceremony we perform here in the Reach. Have you ever heard of it? We grab a handful of hot coals and dance on a bit of straw. Ah, these coals burn over right to the bone. But if you drop even one, the straw lights and the flames take all of you to molded ball. Do you see? Belaine's a hot coal. <laughs> so I grip her tight. I'm going to sharpen my sword. And wait. If you and the noble plan to fight the Grey Host, I won't stop you. Markarn is more than dwarven stones and high walls. It's strength. Make Rana understand that. That's how you can help. Still begging! I should have the tongue ripped from your head and... Uh, God damn it, Rover. <sighs> a favor for a favor, I... That's the reach way. All right, tell the noble. Our Karak will see him whenever he's ready. You think I'm foolish to keep Lady Belaine close, don't you? It takes a bit of foolishness to rule this place, don't you know? You tell this high elf of yours. I'll see him if he wants. Elaine hasn't returned, but she could have other eyes here in court. Be I've been watching, but Lady Belaine hasn't returned to Understone Keep yet. I wonder how the Ard plans to deal with her. Speaking of Ard, well, that's some progress at least, and farther than I was able to get on my own. Thank you. I'll talk to Kadak, then I'd like to make contact with Arana. We'll need the Rebels' help and more if we're going to defeat the Grey Host. Your investigations uncovered that Ard Kadak's advisor, Lady Belaine, is working with the Grey Host, and that she's a vampire. To hide that from me takes great power. Tell me exactly what you heard during Radha Al-Saram's conversation with her. <laughs> 